Hello everyone, I finished the main campaign. I also played through the end games twice already. So now let's talk about it. I mean, is this game really that bad like people are saying online? Now let me begin by saying that I was interested in this game from the first time I saw the first trailer. The premise, the story, I think that was the thing that attracted me the most towards this game. And at the end of last year, in November, I was lucky enough to be part of the beta test. I was able to play part of the first chapter. It was like a two or three hours of gameplay. And I actually enjoyed it. Fast forward comes January before the release of the game. And I start seeing a lot of reviews and mostly were bad. I gotta say, I was, I was pretty sad when I saw so many reviews that were negative of a game that I was personally really excited about. Being a third person shooter about superheroes, it was right up my alley, the game. And it did affect me to see so many negative reviews that I started to wonder if I should actually get the game or not. Obviously, I ended up buying the game anyways, and I bought the deluxe version, mind you. So I thought, okay, let's say maybe the gameplay is everything that people are saying. It's not good. That is repetitive, that is just boring, etc, etc. Okay, I'm gonna buy this game and I'm gonna treat it as an interactive movie because I am still really captivated by the story, by the premise. So let's look at it from that point. Deep down inside, I was scared because I knew how they choose to end the story is either going to make it or break it for me. Now that brings me to the first negative point. This game is a live service game. And I think that financial decision negatively impacted the story or at least the ending of the story because they had to end it in a way that it still continues. In fact, I probably cannot call this ending an ending. I think it's more like a stop and let's go again with the seasons. And I feel like they didn't go as big on the story as they could have should they chose to make this a single player game and not go into this live service. Now do keep in mind that even though it is a live service game, you are able to just play single player solo without having to join others or having others join you. It is totally fine, but it does require your game to always have an active internet connection. So if you are somewhere where the internet connection is not stable, the game can stop and get an error message just in the middle. It happened to me twice. Once was at the beginning of a mission, which was fine. I restarted the mission, it's cool. But a second time it happened when I was finishing at almost at the end of a mission. And because of that connection issue, I have to restart that mission entirely. So be aware of that. If you happen to be somewhere with a spotty internet connection, you may run into this problem. Even though you are able to play solo, you are still required to always maintain an active internet connection for the game to actually run. So that's a very big important point for some of you. So now into the second point that is out there that people seem to complain a lot and that is about the repetitiveness of the gameplay, of the missions. And to that, I say, well, what game isn't repetitive? I think all games, there is always some sort of repetitiveness in the gameplay. I don't think that is a negative that is just unique to this game. Maybe this game leans a little bit heavier, a little bit more towards repetitiveness, but I wouldn't say that that is such a big issue that makes this game unplayable or boring or anything like that. I mean, I can see the repetitiveness. If I counted them, I would probably say that there's a total of maybe two handfuls, something about five to eight different type of missions. 
and they just kind of rotate among those styles. Repetitiveness, to me at least, is not that big of an issue, at least not that important. So all that negative being said, the game does have positive aspects. One of them is the cutscenes. I think those were done really well. You can see the production value in there, as well as the dialogue among the characters, I think is very well written. I could probably say that it's almost movie quality dialogue there, and it's really enjoyable. Those cutscenes and how the story progresses, it, it is kind of what kept me going and playing the game. I wanted to know, okay, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? It's just too bad that when I reached the end, the ending was, I can say maybe a little bit of a, a letdown. I wouldn't say a disappointment, but a bit of a letdown. And so, yeah, so, you know, it's a little bit of a weak, the ending. In fact, I should probably stop calling it an ending and just calling it a stop. And that being said, coming back to the question, is this game that bad as everybody is saying? And in my opinion, after playing the game, I don't think it's that bad. I think one way to describe this game is that it is very, uh, very much an average game. The gameplay is pretty average but it gets a few extra points because of the production quality for the cutscenes, the voice acting and all those things that raise the average score a little bit more. And if I have to give it a score, I would say a solid six, probably a seven, maybe average six and a half. And I think that is in essence this game. It's basically a game that if you bought it and you're playing it, it will be just fine. You're not gonna regret it. You will have a good time. You will enjoy it. Assuming, you know, you like these type of games, you're not gonna get disappointed. But at the same time, someone who doesn't buy this game and doesn't play it, you're really not missing out on anything. You're not missing out on much and uh, that is probably the best way I can describe this game. It's just an okay game. It's average game, slightly above average because it does have good production value, but that's about it. You're not gonna get disappointed. You're not missing out on much either. That's very much it. It's definitely not as bad as what other people are saying. I would definitely not call this game suck. I think it's a little bit too far. I don't think it gets there. It is a decent game. Also being a live service, I am hopeful that maybe they can redeem themselves with a better story down the road, with more changes maybe to the game. Maybe they listen to all the feedback that is out there and make improvements for the following seasons. So I will keep playing it. I have the deluxe version, so I know I already have the first season, I think, pay for. So I'm gonna try it. Hopefully they redeem themselves. It becomes better. They solve the problems that they have right now, but we'll see. I hope this was helpful. If you're playing the game, enjoy it, have fun. I did at least. If you're not planning to buy it, that's cool, man. You're not missing on anything. Watch the YouTube videos if you really want to know what's going on with the game. And that's about it. Okay, so that's it. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video.